In the following year, 2013, uh, you were actually uh, in a movie around the block and um, it had, uh, what's her name, Christina Ritchie, which is the chick from Cast for the Friendly Ghost. Yep. Now, tell us a little bit about that because I didn't know that you were, you know, until we did the research, I had no idea that you were doing the acting thing. Um, so well, my, my family and my whole family has been in and out of the TV industry. Um, so we're kind of well known within, within casting agencies and stuff like that. Um, so f- funny story about that is I went down for the uh, audition and the lady that actually wrote the movie, she was there on the auditions. Her name's Sarah Spillane. She actually done drama school with my sister. So when, I, when I've mentioned my name, she's like, oh, my God, blah, blah, where's your sister? I said, oh, she's out in the waiting room, you know. So um, she's she's come out, said hello, and from that point on, it was I had the role. She even um, married two two roles together for my sister to jump in it as well. So it was, it was pretty fun. That actually had Ruby Rose in that one as well and a few more Australian actors, uh, well-known. So. so your sister was in the same movie as well? Yeah, she's only got a, a short um, dialogue dialogue screen, uh, screen time there, but yeah, she, they made it happen just because she went to school with her and, and done all that. So, so were you doing like acting school and stuff like that, and then this was your first big role, or this sort of came out of nowhere, or why'd they pick you? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I think obviously you know, I'm a good looking bloke, suit the role, but I think it's more of um because the as I said, my family's well known within the industry and we're highly respected. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I feel that, yeah, I'm good at what I do, but also because of how my family hold themselves professionally and also the writer and the director knowing my sister and the last name, you know what I mean? So. And then, so like, I've only seen the trailer um, I've yet to see the movie, but what I gathered from there is like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The, the storyline is there's something to do with like revenge and, you know, police, a bit of police brutality and that sort of thing. Can you detail what the movie is actually about? So yeah, it's, it's about, um, so there's actually two, two storylines in it. Um, the, the one that I'm more, more based around is, the revenge kind of thing. Um, so my Coey in the movie, his father, his father, and the he's co-offender both got done. The co-offender rolled on his dad. His dad got all this time while the other guy started hit, living the high life, getting paid for it. Um, so we go and take revenge for old mate's father and stuff like that. Yeah, right. And then so, like. Uh in regards to doing music as opposed to doing acting, like how, how different is the process? Big difference, man. Big difference. Um, so with, with, with acting, it's kind of hurry up and wait. Um, so basically what I mean is I would have a scene at 6 PM at night, a 10 minute, 10 minute run through, but I've got to be there at 6 AM. So then you're just sitting around waiting, you know what I mean? So it's just, yeah, hurry up and wait. It is fun. You have a good laugh with the with whoever you're on set with and stuff, you know? So, But me personally, I, I'd rather music because it just touches on emotions and expression and you know what I mean? So Now, in regards to, um, I guess, the business side of doing a movie, you know, when I've seen interviews of uh, rappers in America, they say that the checks in Hollywood... Are much nicer than the music checks. They are, man. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Well, the, the good thing about about that one is, so when we were filming that movie, I was actually filming a short film and a TV series at the same time. So I was running three different things, and at that time, why, like, I wasn't too fussed on money. I just loved, I enjoyed doing what I do, you know. But then my manager. She's um, she hit me up because they, 
they started coming directly to me because of my family's name is well known. So then I got my manager involved because they, they were all there and it's like, fuck, how do I work, <laughs> how do I sort it out? So she got involved and she's told me, look, you're obviously at high demand right now. She goes, this is what they're paying, but this is what we're going to ask for. <laughs> Go ahead, do you, you know? So just for that one ar around the block, that one alone, I was about 900 a day, I think it was. So it was, yeah. And that's to sit there and do nothing, drink coffee and fucking wait, you know? So, but yeah, there, there are, the checks are a lot nicer. And then for how many days were you on set? So that one, I think it was about a week on that one, but it wasn't day after day consistency. It was like two days this week, one day next week. and But obviously once the job's done, because it wasn't such a, a long job for me, once the job was done, the check was there and, you know, so... Obviously, if it was longer, if it was longer, then we'd go, hey, we need something up front, finish off later, you know, so. The, the, the last oh, yeah.